In today's video, we're gonna talk about the best Blender add-ons and updates that have been released recently. These include add-ons for modeling, creating terrains, vegetation, water, productivity, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, we have this add-on that I find very useful. And it is one of those you don't know that you'll need until you try it. Sometimes when modeling, you want to create some panels, especially on round surfaces, but the fact that you are using a subdivision surface modifier will force you to use a lot of extra loop cuts to tighten the edges and suddenly you have a lot of creases everywhere that you don't actually want. Panel Cutter helps you create, well, panel cuts. These details can be created from edges that are marked sharp inside Blender's edit mode. It can also work in the object mode as well, which helps you increase the complexity of any model, even simple ones. By default, it creates separate geometry, but you can easily use the merge feature to merge it with the original object. The tools also come with a lot of customization after applying the cuts, and from the add-ons panel, you can pick the face orientation, thickness and depth of the cuts in addition to the margin, height, and you can even customize the height for a more natural look. And yes, there are a lot of ways to do this and there are multiple add-ons that can do this as well, but this one just feels intuitive and does exactly what you need it to do. We also have Forestation which is actually not a new add-on, but B Production, the creators behind it, just recently released Volume 2, which is an upgraded version of the add-on. This add-on became actually much more better than it previously was thanks to several major updates and new features added to this version. Firstly, it is almost like a vegetation add-on, but it only contains trees, and it can be used as a production tool for designers in addition to archivist artists, CG artists, and more. And it features a big asset collection containing high-quality 3D scan trees with PBR textures and easily editable shaders. It actually contains 49 3D scan trees that can help you create realistic natural scenes using Blender Cycles or Eevee. And for more optimization to your workflow, the add-on has an HD and a low poly button. This makes a lot of sense for huge scenes such as forests, considering that we have a limited computing power. So you can add an HD tree for the most part in foreground renders and close-ups, and the low poly models to create forests in the background. This is actually a feature that is going to save you a lot of time during the process of creating new forest scenes. This is a very helpful add-on that will improve your workflow saving you a lot of time, and it is called Alt-Tab Studio. It focuses on optimizing repetitive tasks and giving you quick access to advanced features which can help you work more productively and effectively so that you can concentrate on the creative parts of your project. The add-on contains features that include lighting and camera presets, in addition to materials and project tracker, and a lot more. One of the most interesting features is the 50 light presets that you can use along with the random light generator that gives you access to all your lights in one place. Additionally, it has a material manager that displays all the materials used in your scene on a simple and easy interface which will help you to effortlessly clean up and needed materials from your blend file, in addition to bulk switch materials and the ability to manage your materials as well. Furthermore, the add-on has a lot of different other cool features that you can experiment with. For example, the quick render preview, which allows you to get a fast animation preview that is much faster than the Blender render. This add-on is definitely worth trying since it covers pretty much everything and is quite affordable. Now we're gonna talk about Terrain Mixer which is a node-based terrain generator for Blender, which has been given a new update. It actually provides a lot of tools for terrains and environments, and it introduces options to flatten the ground and blend models and adds AAA quality 3D scans and materials to assets. Additionally, according to the developers, the tool is a shader-based system that can combine up to 9 height map sources to produce new terrains, which is truly interesting if you want to create something custom. And in this update, 
two new shader node groups have been added. The first one is Plane Terrain Blend, which allows you to make an area flat, and the second one is Shader Blend, which helps you blend the terrains together naturally. Additionally, the developer updated the assets with triple high quality 3D scans of objects such as destroyed buildings and rocks, as well as triple high materials for texturing. I think that environment artists, game developers, matte painters, concept artists, and illustrators will benefit greatly from this add-on. So if you work in one of these fields, make sure to take a look at this add-on because it is really interesting. Aqua Underwater add-on is a strong tool for creating lifelike and immersive underwater environments, and it enables you to build fantastic underwater scenery. It actually provides a wide range of features and options to make it simple for users to create accurate and detailed underwater scenes. For instance, one of its key features is its capacity to produce realistic water surfaces, allowing you to quickly change the water's color, transparency, and water patterns. And on top of that, the add-on comes with a number of presets for various forms of water, including lakes, rivers, and oceans, which can be used as a starting point for designing unique water surfaces. Additionally, it enables the creation and manipulation of underwater lighting, allowing you to easily change the color, intensity, and direction of the scene's light sources. You can also add underwater fog and other atmospheric effects to give the image a more realistic feel and especially the feeling of depth and isolation underwater. Generally speaking, this add-on can be a good tool for producing underwater scenes that look realistic. Also, it is a nice alternative for painters and animators of different levels since it is simple to use and offers a large variety of features and settings. Another add-on we're gonna talk about is called Abionic. Abionic is a new vegetation add-on that includes some cool features and a large variety of assets like trees, grass, flowers, plants, rocks, and more. You can use this add-on whether you want to create trees for the background or when you want beautiful plants for close-up shots because all the assets it has come in super high quality. Additionally, you can customize the assets as much as you want, where the add-on allows you to change the color of the trees to get different seasons, and you can even remove the leaves, and add snow to the trees to give it a wintry look. And unlike some similar add-ons that have scattering using particles, this add-on uses geometry nodes for scattering, which will allow you to create an easy-to-use setup for procedurally generated assets, assets such as grass, plants, on any surface you want. And you can use the presets in order to easily layer different types of vegetation to get the desired result. In addition, the add-on also includes wind animation for grass in addition to plants and allows you to control values such as the strength and speed of the wind. CG Matter has just released a new add-on called Curvify. It is basically a generator kind of tool that allows you to generate a lot of curved stuff such as barbed wires, chains, clowns, curtains and feathers, in addition to fences, dangling cables, rainbows and roads, as well as ropes, rivers, snow, in addition to tentacles. This add-on is actually based on geometry nodes, so it works seamlessly and it is easy to use. It also comes with a free plan, so make sure to try it. If you don't know yet, CG Matter is popular for creating YouTube video tutorials and fun stuff about Blender, and this add-on is a good way to support him. The add-on for now offers 4 free assets with the free plan, and 9 complicated geometry node setups with the paid plan. CG Matter is actually planning on creating a hundred of these geometry node setups. That means that the price will for sure go up in the coming days and months, but if you get it right now, you will get the updates for free. I'm just saying. This add-on is like a dream come true. Remember back in the days when you are following one of Bob Ross videos and you try to build that perfect tree but yours usually comes out as a messy bush? Well, this add-on helps you build the perfect tree in any way you want. It is actually called Any Tree. Any Tree is created by the talented artist Martin, best known as Bad Normals on YouTube and the creator behind the really awesome and mind-bending fractal add-on. Built on the new geometry nodes in Blender, this tool gives you a ridiculous amount of flexibility over every aspect of your tree creation process. You can literally draw it branch by branch and watch it being created in real time. As I mentioned before, you can of course control the shape of its appearance. Not only that, 
because UVs are automatically created and some high quality materials and textures will be applied automatically as well. In addition, you can add leaves to branches with a toggle of a button. The add-on actually comes with a lot of leaves types that can be easily animated. If you want to take a look at some of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.